Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to model, texture and light a soda can. Let's go. Alright, start by adding the image as a plane and select a soda can you downloaded off the internet, just the front view. Rotate the plane 90 degrees and move it back a little bit. You can also go in shading mode so you can actually see what's going on. Go into front view and add in a cylinder. Scale the cylinder down on the Z axis and move it down to the bottom of the soda can. After that, you can select the top part in edit mode. Just make sure you have path through activated. And then with pressing E, you can extrude it. Now just trace the can you see in the background. So extrude it and press S to scale it. Uh, the can in the background is not quite in the middle, so I just or oriented myself on the left side of the background image. And all you have to do is just press E to extrude and press S to scale it down and work your way up until the top. Don't worry, at the top it looks a little bit distorted, the image in the background. So just cut it clean off at the top. After that, it should look already something like this. To make it a little bit cleaner, right click and shade smooth. And you can also add in a subdivision surface. So just add a modifier and select subdivision surface. Now let's go to the top part. To ring select this, just press Alt and left click. So you can ring select the top part. I scaled it a little bit outwards and moved it down to add some extra details. I also disabled the subdivision surface to see what the hell is going on. And then I pressed I to insert this face and pressed E again to extrude it. This just gives the whole can a little detail. I extruded it two times and scaled it inwards. So if I uh, activate the subdivision again, it looks something like this. This is just a cool little detail you can also see in real life on the cans. After that, I went to top view and added in a cylinder and scale it down. This is to create the hole. So I moved the cylinder up and placed it right where the hole should be and went also into edit mode. Can now select proportional editing so if you select a vertice and move it you can see not only this vertice will move so the whole vertices around it also moves so i just move the uh, lower uh, the vertice at the bottom a little bit and the two vertices on the left and right side and you can also like lower the radius of the proportional editing as I do here now. So I just put this to 0.1 and now like lesser vertices around the one you selected move. And I just tr try to create the, the shape of the hole here. And if you are done, go out and also alt and left click again to select the top ring and delete the face. So do this at the top and the bottom, delete the face. And after you're done with that, you can select the solar can and add in a um, Boolean modifier and select the cylinder we just created and this will cut out the hole. As you can see, it's a little bit like deep down the hole. So just um, move the cylinder up. You can also go into ghost mode to see how big the like the gap is between after that you can hide the cylinder or you can also add a subdivision modifier to it to make it more smooth so you can't actually see like the the, the different faces yes with uh, h you can hide objects if you didn't know that exactly now let's add in a, another cylinder and scale it down to create the lid from the can. Uh, I also just scale it down and use... Uh, I know I just selected the right part exactly and moved it to the right and scale it down to create the shape. 
and I added another cylinder uh, to cut the hole. I used the exact same method we used before. I activated proportional editing and kind of shaped it the way I want it. Uh, I also duplicated this one again. Oh, I added first I added a subdivision surface. It looked super weird. That's just because uh, we haven't deleted the top vertices. So alt click, alt left click the top part and delete the faces. Do the same with the bottom part. And then the subdivision should look fine. Uh, here I duplicated it and scale it down. Uh, all you have to do now is actually just add a boolean modifier or two boolean modifiers and select both of them. Then you can right click and convert it to a mesh. So this is just helpful because you can now delete the cylinders we created before. Uh, and after that I just placed the lid at the top of the can. Let's go to texturing. Add a material and call this one can. Add a second material and call this one red or whatever you like. And change this to a color you want for now. Then in edit mode, select the part you want to have the color red in it. Um, go to your material again and hit assign. So now should the top and bottom part should be white and the middle part should be red. I went into cycles mode and added a sunlight and then the can texture I bumped up the metallic value, the specular value and lowered the roughness value to get this, this shiny metal look. And for the red part I go into shadings mode and I downloaded a texture from a soda can and just plug this into base color, but as you can see, it doesn't look quite right. I'll show you how to fix it. Go back to layout and add a second window and open the UV editor. If you go into edit mode now, we have to um, create a seam. This just means in this seam there, the can will split open. Again, alt left click on a side to create this seam and then you can right click and mark it as a seam so the line should actually turn red. Select the red color again and hit select to select the red part and press U and select unwrap. Now go into the UV editor on the right side, press A to select all and scale it up. It just really mushed together. Scale it up on the, on the vertical axis and place it right right in the in the texture you have there and this will will fold up the the texture perfectly except where the seam is uh, but you can actually fix this properly um, to make it look a little bit more realistic go into the shadings tab press on the texture command t if you have node wrangler uh, enabled and then in the location you can change like how the, the rotation of the texture is and rotate it to a point where like you can only see red so you can't really see like some some texture warping. Good so all that is left to do now is to add in the light so I added in a plane and with the easy HRI add-on I added in an HRI you can download HRIs from Polyhaven and here I just tried out some, some different HRIs and searched one that, that looks quite good for this scene. After I was happy I added a camera and placed the coke right in the middle. Here you can get super creative but I just added in a second plane on the backside to create a simple white lightroom kind of thing. To make the light a little bit more interesting I added a area light and placed it on the right side and I changed the uh, the shape from square to a disc and turned the spread down to zero. This just means like the, the light is really sharp. And then if you go into shadings mode and activate use node, you can add in a wave texture and connect it to the color. 
and this creates like this gobble effect of uh, some shadow in the light. And again, you can press Command T on the wave texture to ro rotate this. And I played a little bit around with the scale and the distortion of the wave texture. I also turn up the spread of the lights to 4.5 to make it not that harsh. Uh, I added in a second light on the back, uh, a backlight on the coke. Uh, make sure that it's like kind of at the top, so it shines a little bit down on the coke from the from the backside. And I added in a third light that just shines on the background to lighten up the the background. And that was kind of it. Simple light setup. Uh, you can go super crazy on this one. Um, add some more light or add more light only on the right side to create more a dynamic scene or go super crazy with the environment yeah uh, if you have any questions or want to see more tutorials kind of like this uh, just leave it in the comments and i hope i can see you the next time bye bye guys